god. Because this I'm like, like the yellow emoji of the moon, and you're like the blue emoji of the moon. <laughs> okay. When you edit that, like put that next to our faces. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby. Today is going to be a flight training Q&A with a friend that I've been trying to Hello. film with. My name is Hannah. Um, I just started out with the YouTube thing. I have 200 subscribers, so go check out my channel and my Instagram. Link is down below. Down below, oh, you yes. know the drill. Mm -hmm. And you do more um, aerobatics. I do, yeah. So aerobatics. she'll be answering some questions on that. Mm -hmm. And we're both a private pilot working on our IFR on our instrument flight mm -hmm. rating. Let's get right into it. Let's we went it. to Instagram and asked y'all to ask us some questions. And the first one was, how, when did you realize that you wanted to start flying? What inspired yeah. you to start flying? Uh, I think how and when are like two completely different answers, you know? Like that's not like a how slash when, it's like a how and then when. Um, I've always had the interest. I never thought I was like smart enough or I never thought, you know, that I could do yeah. it. Cause it's kind of like a, it's kind of a life choice that you do pick up a lifestyle by starting it. And yeah, that, that was really intimidating really point, yeah. to me of like completely changing my entire life to do this. And um, my uncle's an airline pilot, so I've always been around it. Um, and I've always had that idea. And I kind of, my, my quote, you know, that he'll quote me on was, in another life, I would have been a pilot. You know, I, don't, I said that like so long. You know, I always just said, "Oh, in another life," you know, but I don't think it's for me. I don't oh, think I'm. I don't think I'm like, capable. Put yourself down. Yeah, I never thought I was capable of doing it. And then um, I went on this helicopter ride, and this awesome pilot named Sammy. She was like, "So if you want to do this, like, wait, why aren't you just doing it?" And I was like, wait. "Don't tag me." I was like, that. "Wait a minute, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Like, why aren't I just doing this?" And so um, I looked up some flight schools, and that's how I started. For me, it's not really streamlined. It's kind yeah. of more like, I always knew pilots were a thing. I knew it was a job, yeah. but I didn't think I could do it. I didn't know any Same. females that did it. Totally. I thought you had to have really good eyesight, really good yeah. grades, ex-military. Like I just know in physics yeah, and that's science. What I thought. And I thought it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I went to a high school career day and there mm. were pilots there and they let us fly the sim. And oh, after yeah. I flew the sim, I was like, people actually get to do Wait, this? so both of us with helicopters. Like, I started so with helicopter helicopters, pilots, yeah. They both influenced yeah. us. Wow, it's an interesting. I was there as a flight attendant. I was looking into flight attendant. I didn't oh, want to be a pilot. Oh, interesting. Because I, I didn't think I could. I started by actually stalking people on Instagram and YouTube and meeting pilots in person mm, and talking to mm. them and seeing if, it's kind of weird, but seeing if I was like them. Like, can I see yeah, myself being like you? Totally. So I would get coffee with people. Um, and my intro flight and even flying commercially for the first time in my life was only two years ago. That happened you flew way com later. Commercially for the first time two years ago? Yeah. So I was doing a lot of it off of just blind faith and thinking, I think I'm this type of person and I think I'll mm -hmm. enjoy it. And then when I took my first intro flight, I got really sick, oh. but I did enjoy it. Oh, so then from okay. there, just meeting more people off Instagram, having coffee with people, hanging around mm -hmm. the FBO, local airport. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a slow process. It was definitely like, from I don't think I can do this to I can do it if I want it mm -hmm. and if I think that. When did you realize you wanted to fly? That isn't really one answer, mm -hmm. you feel me? It's yeah. kind of multiple moments over the period, over a course of a couple months. Yep. But I think it was when I met some other pilots and especially people that flew for a living where I thought kind of like, I want to be like them when I'm yeah, older. Like yeah. I want to have those yeah. experiences and the fact that aviation you're always learning is mm -hmm. something that I always was telling people. I was telling my best friend, like I want to be learning my whole entire life. Like I always want to be learning. Yes, that's and like a doctor. Aviation like makes you always you have that. to learn something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't even think that happened while I was flying. I think it was a ground moment where yeah. I was just being introspective. And mm -hmm. then the what made you want to get into flying is kind of the same thing just the lifestyle the people the community mm -hmm. the experiences um the adrenaline the the terror of landing for the first time like all mm -hmm. of that was just like i want to do this and i want to continue doing this yeah so I me mean, for me like the the why why you know like that if we're going into it um i always yeah. wanted to be in stem I always oh, yeah, desired yeah, I'm like a science that. Baby. I yeah. always wanted to, like, when I was little, I really looked up to scientists and pilots yeah. and astronauts. Oh, my gosh, I always wanted to be an astronaut. Oh, I yeah. always wanted to be an astronaut. Like, yeah. duh. Fifth grade was when I really felt like I wasn't smart. And that I yeah. carried that on, and I never and it makes you think pursued like, it, and I yeah. never thought I was good at math because I was told I wasn't good at math. And that now I'm, like, um, I'm pursuing, like, a STEM major in 
college and I'm doing yeah. really well and and you're not majoring in aviation she's not majoring no we don't in have aviation. that at uh, I'm at yeah. University of Oregon people might might yeah. think that you're, no no I'm yeah. not majoring in aviation I'm majoring in uh, geography I dare you I, to yeah, shift test me just my Try me. <laughs> no so the next one is what price should you expect for flight training start to finish uh, whatever you like Google and whatever they tell you at the flight school higher than that <laughs> that's all I can say I uh, you can't really expect anything with flight training you really Ever can't in aviation you know don't you can't expect, expect that anything. everything will work out all the time don't expect that the price is gonna be exactly what they quoted like I think what like seven eight eight, eight nine, thousand ten? to twelve thousand is such an average number that if yeah. you go to most flight schools that's what they quote I made a video on how much I spent on my training that'll be linked down below yeah um, and then there's supplemental materials too like some people you know, fancy. do you use for flight or I didn't yeah oh, so, so I, I did have, like the really cheap I have route. iPad for flight a, yeah. and a stratus three and you know and so <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I was like i got my pen and change my things a little bit um <laughs> things that would literally motivate me and i was just telling my friend this is that when you're studying you are saving money so every yeah, time i'm studying i'm like yeah. i'm saving money because i'm gonna come to that lesson so mm -hmm. prepared most of my um flying lessons were about an hour they were right mm -hmm. on the dot because the more you study it's directly related to how much money you yes. save and i yeah. tell people that like it's not a joke like yep. if you're a good student you will save more money it's like there's also it. so much that you don't need like i yeah. see um i've gone on yeah. reddit and i've seen people yeah. be like oh like uh this is a great starter pack but like those little yeah, like, pilot like bags like a head like, like no. a, a pilot bag like i use like the you know like i, I use would, my school bag yeah just like like, like a jan sport or something you know yeah, like, like don't like get you fancy. don't need these like you can't afford to get fancy or, like you don't need a there's no like specific bag for a it, just use a backpack yeah. just put everything in yeah. your backpack uh yeah. you don't need to buy a new bag to be a pilot use an old bag like take your did someone just like die over there I could just or, yeah uh, um that's cool so the next question is if you could go back and change one thing about your flight training mm. what would it be one thing um well i'm really happy where i am right now and so i don't think i'd change anything because then that'd probably affect like where i'm sitting right now and uh yeah. i'm very satisfied with my training and i'm very happy with the direction my um my career is going and so i don't think i'd change anything because then that would affect you know everything else so yeah yeah i think I know I, I said that don't expect anything in aviation because things always change, but my training kind of went exactly how I wanted it to, like in three months. And oh, you hypocrite. I don't, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know I'm going back on what I said, but I don't think I would change anything. Like it was, yeah, nothing. Yeah, exactly. So. called up my instructor Steve, which we both have an instructor named Steve. Both have Typical. Steve. They're yeah. all named Steve. Oh, yes. Every pilot Steve, John. is named Steve. Oh, I think it was fate, you know, and also <laughs> what <laughs> happened with the lighting. The, the light left. Whatever. So <laughs> <laughs> the log is broken, y'all. There's a child that is not happy. I feel like Or he's gonna... very happy. No, it's not happy. <laughs> that's not a happy cry. When you when you texted this morning and you're like, hey, like when are you heading out? I actually had just woken up. But I <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> More to my major in college, I realized that I was hating journalism a lot. And I'm a screamer. I'm a screamer. I just because <laughs> nature you can. Like there's no rules, you know? There are no rules. You feel me on that? Yeah. These so, ants have no rules. I swear. Why are they all on you and not on me? So yeah. Woo! Someone the witness that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you just get some. <laughs> Feel attacked. <laughs> Literally attacked. So, oh, Abby, where did we decide to set up um, our filming location? Um, so, we haven't really paid rent or anything, <laughs> but we're here, and they're also here. So, this is like that one meme like where the dog's like on fire. You can see on the video. Maybe if you go a wider view, yeah. they're, yeah, they're yeah. literally crawling yeah. everywhere. I bet, like, people just think we're being dramatic, but, like, they're... Yeah. He's, like, <laughs> he's like, this is fine. Like, he's like we're just sitting in, like, an entire ant swarm. And we're just like, this is fine. Like, it's fine. But we're like, fine, you know? Yeah. Right, right here. Abby put her butt, like, right... <laughs> like, I think, like, in the epicenter of, like, their entire, like, civilization. Yeah. Like, probably killed the queen. That's probably why. This is, this is fine. Granted, I bet you killed the queen. I bet off. that's probably, probably why they're pissed off. You probably squished the queen. So, God. Look at, look at me. Just I, I literally. I don't belong. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wish I was filming that. 
I was.